Hey guys, um, I have another video for you guys, Zarin. I'm back at you with you guys. So this one came in for a program um, on the PCM because it wouldn't start, it cranked but it wouldn't start. Um, I did that and it didn't fix it. So uh, another shop brought it to us. Um, so that didn't fix it and they just gave us a go ahead. I got quite a bit of time here to diagnose it. But honestly, it's not that big of a deal. I'll show you here why. Um, of course, it's not confirmed till I replace the part, but um, I'm pretty dang sure. So, as far as what the evidence and the data tells me. So, let's go over that really quick. Um, so, basically, we got the ignition control module, and then we got the pulse width um, waveforms coming from the PCM for the ignition timing. And then it gets that, has its power on ground, and then it has another fourth wire that comes here, which is this wire right here right a white and black wire and then this is a hot all the time wire and this is the ignition module um, excuse me the ignition coil and then it sends it off to the distributor and then from there you know what happens so basically um i checked right away because it wouldn't start it's like the easiest thing to do is just check if it has any any spark it does not so because that's normally what it is on these um so i checked no spark we're okay let's move on to the next thing you know um data driven diagnosis <laughs> so uh we I went ahead and hooked up to basically all my channels to this guy back here i'll give you a, a quick yeah let me get this here i'm gonna sit you guys down probably better to explain man sorry about that wish i had a cameraman so so here if you could see this is our uh, ignition control module here and um, the ground has four wires the ground coming to it the power coming to it a white wire coming from the PCM for the ignition timing this is the PCM and then it has a white black wire that goes to the ignition coil and the ignition coil has another all the time hot pink wire and they all check out good except this white black wire there's no open in it, there's no shorts, uh, but there is no uh, waveform. Um, so, uh, so that tells us everything almost, right? Well, basically. And then here's a scope image. I print it out, I always print them out. Um, and as you can see right here, this is our powers. Um, um, there's obviously a little bit of voltage drop -ish going on here, but that's just from cranking. It's like a little RC. Uh, so I always like to test the powers and grounds dynamically. Uh, for any type of voltage drop because that stung me in the butt many times in the past and uh, Try not to have that happen anymore and as the ground a little bit of voltage drop on the ground as well But like I said, it's because it started and then right here. We have the um, Waveform this is the power ground for the ignition module and this is the waveform coming from the PCM um, to the uh, module so those are good and it's not here on the scope but the force channel is yellow and I don't have it printed out, but I'm not gonna do all it to print it out again but i already know that the the fourth wire that black and white wire we were talking about that goes from the ignition control module to the um the most important actually to the uh, coil is well does it have a waveform it's uh, it stays positive power it doesn't short to ground so um like this um every once in a while to obviously send a spark so we have a a bad ignition control module so that's basically it so but yeah i did have a lot of parts changing i had a crank sensor I had a distributor cap rotor wire spark plug uh, pcm so they did throw the parts cannon at it but um you didn't even really need even need a scope i mean it's very nice to have a scope but didn't really even need one to be honest um, to figure this one out so but yeah that's pretty much it um I was using the ats scope i love this scope um, as much as my my personal Pico 4425A, probably not, but this is a good scope to, you know, be mobile with since my Pico is kind of tied down to my uh, die cart. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Um, actually, before I end this video, um, right now when I replace a clip, the, the part, maybe a couple hours from now, I don't know how soon the part's going to get here, I'll end the video there, me replacing it, um, if they do accept... Um, the work because another shop brought it to us they might want to do it themselves but if i do not post that that means that they took it so thank you guys for watching um uh, stick around maybe i might be able to replace this part and hopefully uh have a proven fix and start this car up but just to show you guys now
no start kind of a weak battery as you get here but all right let's, um let's see if uh i can get this approved if not i'll see you all righty so i installed the new uh, module here in place of here and uh it didn't crank right off it took a little bit but it, it's it's running now so again that's a confirmed fix thank you guys for watching i really appreciate it um i have another video i'm gonna make on uh, sierra over here the communication issue and uh, hopefully i can make a video on that one too but uh make me maybe make two videos in a day here but uh all right thank you guys for watching have a good one